Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yeah, we're checking out this bad boy, the Samsung S95C, Samsung's latest OLED TV, and that is the 77-inch version of the TV. Now, I checked out the S95B last year, one of my favorite TVs of 2022, and I can't wait to see what Samsung has in store with the S95C. So, if you're watching us for the very first time, hit that subscribe button and notification icon so you can watch more videos like this. All right, let's jump right into it. We're gonna check out different aspects of this TV and we'll start off with the unboxing and setup experience. Unboxing this TV is something that, look, if you're gonna get a 77 inch, get a friend, get somebody to help you out or use the concierge service that Samsung has to set up this TV. Don't break your back. Granted, the TV itself is not heavy, but the whole process can be. Now, I will give them this. Their instructions are very uh, succinct, allowing you to follow the instructions well. I, I like the instructions there. The one thing I didn't like was the base itself. Setting up the base could be a little bit cumbersome for some people. For me, it wasn't, but I can see where that is. And it is rather heavy. Not as heavy as some other people, but it is heavy. Now, putting the TV together was not a problem and setting it up was good. And at 77 inches, it takes up a good amount of space and I like it within my environments here. Uh, the one thing about this TV I do like is that it comes with a one connector box which houses all your HDMI ports, four of them, which are all 4K 120, uh, and uh, of course the power plug itself, so there's just one connector that goes to the TV and to that port. Samsung, make this standard on all your TVs, please, at least all your high-end TVs, even the 55 and 65, because last year with the S95B, I had an issue with my HDMI port and my TV had to be replaced. If I had the same issue this year, which I don't, all you'd have to do is change the one connector box and that's it. The remote control is really solid, though it is more on the plastic side, and especially if you're spending the amount of money on this TV, which it is priced at about 4,490, uh, you want something that feels more premium. That being said, it's, the remote's footprint is smaller than uh, I think last year and the year before. It also has very few buttons, which I do like. I do wish Samsung would include a button so you can easily toggle between your sources. Uh, you can do that, but it's not a quick direct process. I do like the quick access, of course, to your streaming services as well. Um, and I can see HBO Max is not here. HBO, come on, get your game up. But this control uh, actually allows you to charge via USB Type-C. And also it has a solar panel on the back. But that being said, it's a nice solid controller. The TV itself, the build quality is very nice, very thin. I like the edges. It just looks clean all together. Very, very solid. So this brings me to one of the biggest parts of a TV like this is the picture quality because that's what you're expecting. Now with the S95B from last year, we saw some really great uh, color volume. We saw the blacks being really solid and we saw really high brightness for an OLED TV. This is even better this year. Samsung has taken it up a notch and it's even brighter. Uh, the nits, the nit brightness have, have been bumped up. But what you will see here is the color volume and also the black levels of this TV are insane. I mean, this is a QD OLED TV. So it's not just an OLED TV in the Samsung colors that it, comp it comprises of two different technologies kind of brought together here. What I love is when you look at blacks, they just look black and the contrast with other things on screen really go together. So if you're looking at scenes that have a lot of color and have some black as well, you're not seeing any of those, you know, lighter patches, the, the colors feel uniform on any angle you're looking at. That is very key. So I like that about it. And the content you're seeing here that I'm showing just the imagery is directly from YouTube. So technically not the highest level, but you can see how well this TV adjusts to that. So even if you're watching YouTube videos like mine on the channel, you can see how clean and crisp the colors are, or whether you're watching content at any of the streaming services, you're gonna get that rich colors. Now in terms of course of support, it supports HDL 10 plus. Um, it doesn't support Dolby Vision as some of you would, would like, but hey, that's where Samsung is laying its bed. Uh, it's something that I really haven't noticed as much, especially when it comes to streaming services. It's more on physical media that yes, I can see some separation there, but if streaming is your thing, really, really, to me, it doesn't matter. It does have, of course, uh, Adobe uh, Atmos, so of course you've got that uh, audio there, and you've got some really nice speakers behind the TV that are built in that give some really, really good sound. So how about you guys just take a quick listen? Let me know your thoughts on that section. 
Pretty good, right? Yeah, especially while you're gaming, this TV does a very good job. And this is where I truly love the Samsung uh, OLED TVs. The S95C continues from where the S95B started off and takes things to a much better level. The TV, when you're playing games, the colors look crisp. What I, is um, Horizon West, where you've got a lot of vibrant colors all around, or even if you're playing a game uh, uh, like Halo that has some muted colors, a little bit of brightness here and there, or a game like Titanfall 2, I know you guys haven't played that in a while, where it's much more muted colors, you know, you, you're getting HDR in that, but it looks so good. Doesn't matter what game you're playing, going all the way to God of War, you're gonna see some rich colors, great color balance, and of course, the full functionality of the TV. You've got that game menu as well, which you can activate and giving you the ability to customize uh, the options on your TV. So you can go to like FPS mode, you can, you can also screen resize, all that stuff is built in. It also tells you what your, uh, your, your game is actually outputting at that time. For gaming, this is a huge plus, not just because of the fact that I can connect my PlayStation 5 or my Xbox here and get some really great, great gaming experience, but also because Samsung has that game hub. And that game hub allows you to do more. So if you're buying this TV and you still can't get, say, a PS5, or you don't have an Xbox yet, or you're just not ready to move to those consoles, Samsung has your back. Now, the game hub allows you to stream games from Xbox Game Pass, from GeForce Now, and one other streaming service, as well as, I believe, Luna as well. So you have options to stream games, and all you have to do is simply connect your controller via an Xbox controller, or even a PlayStation controller, as long as it's Bluetooth connected, and you are good to go. The experience is only as good as your internet connection, and this does a bang up job in just gaming. I mean, I had a really good time using this to jump back into a game, and of course, it pairs with your console if you're, if you're an Xbox uh, user. So whatever you're playing on your console will show up there, and you can jump back into those games as well. Very great and solid experience overall. So what about software? Samsung's still using the Tizen OS with the different hub systems. So you've got, of course, the uh, Media Hub, and then you can go into the Gaming Hub, and then you do have the Ambient Hub as well, which allows you to put different wallpapers and things on your TV, which is nice. Now, the one thing I'll say though, is that I do like the separation of the hubs, especially if you wanna really get into say gaming and use different game streaming services. I do wish it was easier for me to just jump in back and forth between the different services. Uh, now, yes, you can quickly jump into things like Netflix and Amazon Prime from say your gaming experience, but I wish there was just a way, there was a pop-up menu while you were say gaming or even watching TV, kind of like how that game menu pops up. Uh, like the old system where you could actually have that pop up and you can easily go to any streaming service or any game streaming service you want to. That will make it a much more fluid experience. Right now it feels like if I'm done playing on my uh, on Xbox Game Pass or GeForce Now and I want to go to say HBO Max, since it, there's no physical button here, I would have to go in out of the game gaming hub and then go into the media hub. So that kind of separation I think needs to be cleaned up. Also, I do wish this TV supported Wi-Fi 6E. It doesn't, it does support Wi-Fi 5. So that is something that actually takes a point down for me, especially with all the streaming that you're doing on this TV. Uh, it would be nice to have, to have something at least up to date and up to spec. So what do I think about the Samsung S95C, especially 77 inches? Bigger is better, 77 is great. I love my 65, which is over there, but honestly, this fills up the space and it looks absolutely gorgeous. The black levels, as you can clearly see, look great, and that color volume is just a great mix and balance. I think Samsung has really done a good job in making this TV feel even faster in terms of performance, so that processor, uh, that quantum processor that they have really does a good job here, and 
Honestly, I like the TV so far. My only problem is the price. I do wish it was 4,000, maybe 3,500 instead of uh, 4,400, uh, but it is still a great TV and honestly has set the mark for TVs this year and a lot of people have to compete against that. So if you guys wanna pick up the Samsung S95C, use our link down below. Um, and if you want to also pick up the S95B from last year, which is much cheaper now, I think the 65 is like 1800, definitely use the link down below as well. Otherwise guys, leave your questions, ask them, let me know what you think. This TV will be here so I can answer them for you. This is Thunder E saying thank you, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.